Hi, my name is Jens, and I'm going to show you how to get started automating SDK from MATLAB. So anything you can do in the SDK GUI, you can automate. It could be from Python, Perl, C Sharp, whatever you want. But MATLAB is a popular option, so I'm going to show you how to get started with that. So I have SDK open here and uh, MATLAB. So first, we have to establish a connection between uh, MATLAB and SDK. Uh, there's two ways to do it. You can either start a new instance of SDK from MATLAB, or you can just connect to the running instance. So just to save time, I'm going to connect to the running instance that we already have open. And there's some commands you need, and just because uh, chances are nobody's going to remember those, I'm going to show you how to uh, get there. So if you go to help.agi.com, go to the programming interface help, and under using core libraries, SDK object model, there are the MATLAB code snippets. So this is a handy site to go to. Uh, it's just hundreds of uh, examples of, you know, just little code snippets you'll need. But the first two are what we're looking for. So the first one is uh, connecting to a running instance of SDK, which is what we'll use. And then the, uh, the second one is if you want to start up a new instance of SDK from MATLAB. So I click on that, copy these two lines from uh, the help into MATLAB and run them. So now we have a connection between uh, MATLAB and SDK. And just to uh, make sure everything's connected right, let me pull in the uh, scenario name. I just named it MATLAB. So root. Uh, and just to let me show you how IntelliSense works. So you can see all the options in, uh, in MATLAB that SDK has. If you do a period and then hit tab, you can see all the available options. Uh, so, and we'll get into that in a minute. So what we want is current scenario, and again, period and tab. There is a uh, instance name. So the uh, scenario name is MATLAB, which matches here. So that means uh, we're connected to the right thing. So let's add a new object. Uh, let's add just a facility. And uh, it kind of goes the same way. We just got the name. So there's root dot current scenario. So we can add children, and then there's somewhere in here is new. So now we need to figure out what inputs uh, do we need. I already know, but let me show you how to get that. If we go back to this help, let me search for new, and there's a lot of new results. I just want the results that are in SDK object. So the first one here, new, it expects first the type. Yeah, it's an enumeration and then the name. And if you scroll down here, if you want a facility, you can either say it's eight or call it e-facility. So back to MATLAB. So this is a string and MATLAB takes uh, single quotes. And I'll give it a name. I'll just call it test just because I'm not original enough to come up with something good. And this will return a variable. I'll call this facility. All right, and now from MATLAB, we created a facility called test, and uh, we have the object in MATLAB as well. So we can customize all the properties, and if you uh, look at the, the properties here in the GUI, the, the object model kind of mirrors that. So if you go to facility, peri um, period, and tab, you get all the options, and that mir mirrors what you see over here in the, uh, in the SDK GUI. So for example, position, if you want to change the position, there's a facility.position, and then just like in the GUI, you can specify the type. So back in MATLAB, so there's a assigned, geodetic, geocentric, Cartesian, whatever you want. I'm going to go with the geodetic, and if you don't know what inputs are required, again, go back to the help. Assign geodetic, and the first thing that comes back tells us what it wants, so it wants latitude, longitude, and altitude. I'll just give it a couple of values just to uh, make sure it does what we expect. Uh, about 12.345, that's the latitude. Longitude, 123.456, and we'll put it on the ground at zero. So let me hit enter here, and the GUI doesn't update, so let me refresh it. All right, we are now at the, uh, the position that we specified. Um, all the other properties, you know, basically, if you don't know what you're trying to change, just look at IntelliSense. So facility dot hit tab, and, uh, you know, everything is there, and it more or less follows the layout of the GUI. 
So everything under the 2D graphics, so if you want to change the, uh, the color, for example, um, is under graphics. So there is a dot graphics. And then again, period tab gives you all the options. So there's color, as well mask, things like that. Um, if you want to change properties in the 3D, you know, in those 3D sections, it's all under VO because the 3D window used to be called the uh, visualization option. And so here, if you want to change your model or, uh, you know, add a vector, things like that, all the object options in here are under VO. And then, you know, can keep going. The constraints, there's a constraints section. Again, facility dot. And there's access constraints. Usually, if you don't know where things are, you can just you know, look at IntelliSense, what are all the options. And uh, most of the time, you can get to wherever you need to be. So facility, you can add constraints. You can remove constraints. You can edit constraints, things like that. So now that you have the basics, uh, you can start automating and, and uh, automating SDK from MATLAB and doing all the things that you can't really do through the GUI. Um, for example, if you want to do you know, create a whole bunch of facilities in a loop. And I copied and pasted this so you don't have to watch me type. So I'm looping through latitude and through longitude. So I'm creating, creating a unique name for each facility. Um, I'm creating a new facility. I'm putting it at the latitude and longitude that I get from the loop and I'm changing them all to the same color. So let me show you SDK and hit our enter here. And you can see, you know, it quickly creates these uh, 36 facilities and moves them to whatever uh, location we specified and uh, change the color. All right, so, uh, you know, that's how you get started, automating SDK from MATLAB. Again, uh, IntelliSense, just type the object name, period, and tab, and you get all the objects, um, all the options. If you go to the help, the programming help, under using core library, SDK object model. There are these MATLAB code snippets that cover a lot of things. And, you know, if you try IntelliSense and you try to help and you can't figure it out, just give us a call or email us, support at agi.com, and we'll help you out.